Good morning. Welcome to my studio. I'm Robin with the Desert Rose Creates. I'm an independent chalk couture designer and today we're going to do some chalking and if you're not familiar with that I will explain what chalking is as we go along. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that you can see me okay. So I gotta find my news feed here. There I am. Perfect. All right, and then I like to hit the arrow button and uh, show it in my VIP group. And my VIP group is for my customers. And that's why I offer uh, some Try Me kits, well, which I'll show you a little bit of those this morning um, and show you what's up and coming in the Chocotour catalogs and stuff like that. So if you're not a member of the VIP group, um, you can go to my page and click on the groups and ask to join that. Um, there's just a rule that you can't have any other Chakra Tour designers in our groups. So if you're a designer, um, you can't be in the group. And I do check on that and make sure you're not. So uh, any other customers though, or potential customers, or people who want to learn more about chalking, uh, just ask to join that group. So that is easy to do. Let's see. Find it, my VIP. Perfect. And then I'm going to hit the arrow button. And if you want to share that with your friends too, that would be awesome. Great. Okay, let's see who's on this morning. Make sure you say hello so we can get started. I'm going to set my iPad up here. So I can read any questions you may have or comments. And we are going to do our Club Couture transfer that's arriving this month to our Club Couture members. And this month it's Love Conquers All. And uh, to join the club you can go to my website chalkcouture.com slash Odessa Rose. Good morning, good morning everyone. And you can click on the club, join the club. And it's a subscription service that you will get a transfer which is exclusive only to the members. It's not available in our catalogs. And it goes to uh, the club members and as Chocolate Tour designers. So it's really cool. We, know, we never know what it is going to be, the design, until the first of every month. And so if you join now, your subscription would start in June. $19.99 a month, free shipping, you get a transfer, and you get three paste packets that they select for the design. So this month it was Couture, Teal, uh, Peachy Keen, and Guava for their design. And so you'll get three paste packets, which is plenty to do this over and over, or try to just get out a little bit of that paste for your design and then uh, seal it back up and save the rest for another project. And so it's kind of a great way to uh, start collecting transfers, start um, chalking if you've never chalked before. Perfect way to learn about chalking and to give it a try. We also offer Try Me kits on our website at chalkcouture.com slash Odessa Rose. Um, and they're called Try Me Kits, and they come with a little surface, chalk paste packets again, and I think even a squeegee and um, transfers. So those are awesome, and those are like 20% off, so those are a good deal too. So if you want to try chalking, check those out. Or over in my VIP group, I have discounted Try Me Kits that I made up myself. I include transfer, chalk, samples, mini squeegee, and embellishments such as ribbons and charms and tags, whatever uh, is going on for that particular um, kit. And I call them retreat kits. And I actually have a few left. I'll tell you about them, but for pricing, you have to go to my VIP group because they are at discount. This is Always Kiss Me Goodnight. You get ribbons to make a bow. You get these metal arrows. You're gonna get the transfer. Always Kiss Me Goodnight. And you're going to get uh, eucalyptus and white chalk paste plus a mini squeegee. So those 
all of this to create this. You're going to get this board, everything here, and the two colors of chalk face. That is available in my VIP group. Also, this one is a banner. And we're going to chalk paste on this. When you get it, you'll want to iron this out. And you're going to get ribbons to make this bow, some metal feathers, and the sentiment is worry less, love more. And you're going to do that in gray with the storm colored paste and the mini squeegee. So that is another uh, retreat kit that I have available in my VIP group. So check those out. Like I said, if you're not a member, just ask to join. And let me set these over oh, back here. And I also have this kit. I have um, the baking company comes in the board and pillar stand. You're going to get ribbons to make a bow, white chalk paste. And you can either get the baking company, which I have one left of those. And I have two left of the ready aim fire. Please remember to wash your hands. Perfect for the bathroom. And this one's great for the kitchen, obviously. And you're going to get your mini squeegee. Also with the white chalk paste. So that is another kit available. And I even let you pick out the ribbon uh, colors you might want for your kitchen or your bathroom on that. So that is also in my VIP group. So back to this month's Club Couture. It'll come in this envelope. It's a really pretty envelope. And you'll get the three paste packets. They do not come with squeegee, so you need to get a squeegee. If you are new to chalking and you don't have any, uh, you'll want to grab this. Or better yet, get the um, Kickstart kit that comes as an option when you first join the club. There's an option to join or to purchase a kit of a couple surfaces, white chalk paste in a jar, squeegee, multi-tool, which is this multi-tool small squeegee. You're going to get some board erasers, which are great for cleaning off those surfaces so you can reach up on them over and over and over. So check that all out. You can read all about it on the website, um, chalkcouture.com slash Odessa Rose under Club Couture. So check that out. That is a good deal. Let's see. I'm going to put these face packets away in this envelope away. So this month's design kind of reminds me of a hanky. Even though it doesn't have any um, paisleys in it, just the, the font and the, even the floral just reminds me of a hanky. I don't have a hanky on me, and I wish I did, um, but I have the scrapbook paper. So I think I'm going to do a series of um, patriotic pieces geared towards country and handkerchiefs and stuff. It's kind of what I'm thinking in my head. I'll probably start those um, towards the end of May, 1st of June, because um, my main project right now is my design I'm working on for um, our convention contest. So, But I think after that, I'm gonna concentrate on some patriotic pieces throughout the rest of this month and, and in June. But I think our first one's going to be the Love Conquers All. And, but I'm going to do it in blue. Because I think this can be an everyday sentiment too, obviously. And I think more people decorate in blue than they do in red. So I'm going to do it in shades of blue. Because there are blue hankies and there are red hankies. So I'm going to do it in blue. So let's see who's watching. Good morning, Anita, Sherry, Lori, Kathy. It is a chilly morning, isn't it? Audra, Vicky, hello, hello, Joanne, Gail is watching, Lynn, good morning, good morning. Yeah, it's cold out. The sun's shining, so you think it's going to be warmer. I'm going to use Chocotour's palette board. This is the 9 by 12 available on our chalk site. These boards are awesome. I've actually had designed on this particular one a couple times, and I was able to wash it off two reasons why mainly because I waxed it first and I put a little bit of our of just a min wax finishing wax paste just a little bit of it and that helps remove the chalk easy 
Um, also, I, um, what was I going to say the other reason why? Oh, I used the board erasers on them. If you haven't seen our board erasers, which I think I have one onion one left. They come in a pack of two. These are board erasers. I also use these to wash my transfers. It just removes the chalk paste so easily, and especially on boards. I mean, it just c picks it up really easy. More than uh, just cleaning it with a rag or anything. It, it doesn't work. But these are like magic. It just cleans it up. So because I had the wax on it first, and I think because I used this, because first I sprayed this with water and scraped it down just like I would any other board. Um, and there was a little bit of shadowing, but once I wiped it with these, it came right off. And again, these boards were meant for like a one-time purpose. So they really weren't meant to clean up and reuse. But because I put a little bit of wax on it first and I used the board eraser, it came out pretty clean. It's starting to show some wear of where the paint has rubbed off, but I'm okay with that. I'm probably going to vintage this up anyway. I'm going to rough up the edges and make it look like a worn worn piece because I want the old hanky country um, patriotic theme that this will work into once I start doing those um, boards for the collection. So um, I'm going to incorporate another little metal arrow, but I'm going to, um, this piece right here on the bottom, I'm going to space it down and put this arrow right underneath all and then put the last line on the bottom. So I'm going to stretch it out just a little bit, you could say. Because you can definitely just uh, do this all in one color, break it into three colors, which I will. I'm going to use um, my main colors are Cadet, Blue, and Black. But I did pull out my Ocean Mist, which is a light gray blue. And then this is a navy I make with um, any shade of blue, but mostly Cadet or Liberty or there's a Blue Jay out there now. Uh, and then mix it with black. So I have more of a darker navy. So those shades are what I'm going to be using on this board. And then I, I think I, I don't think I'll add gray, but you could add gray too. So uh, I'm just going to do kind of altering the colors as we come down. And I'm just not going to do this piece. Uh, just yet, I'm going to put the arrow in, in here, and then under the arrow, I will chalk this piece. So, let's see how it goes. Let's set this aside too. So, being a new transfer, of course, it's sticky on this side. You're like a sticker. And then, all the that you see through, that's the silk screen. And that's what we squeegee over the chalk paste. It goes through the silk screen and makes our print on our surface. And we can do any flat surface, pretty much basically any flat surface. You can also use our inks instead of chalk paste on um, fabrics and even stoneware or glassware. And you can heat set that in the oven and it'll become permanent. And on your fabrics, you would use an iron or an easy press or heat press. So when they're brand new, they really are almost too sticky sometimes. So this is what we call fuzzing. We're just going to place the transfer, the sticky side down on the towel, and put a little bit of lint on it. And that just helps release the transfer up off the, your surface so it's not hard to pull up because you don't want to stretch out the silk screen fabric. So I'm going to line this towards the t right, pretty much on the top edge. Because remember, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to put this arrow in here. And then I'll bring this line down here to finish it off. And so I will glue on that arrow with um, E6000, more likely. So I'm just going to make sure it's pressed on very well around the edges of the silk screen areas so we have a nice sharp crisp print and this is palette board so there is a seam so you may get a little bit 
where you notice the seam on your print, which is fine because it is a palette board. Palette board. All right. This the mail, my mailman usually doesn't uh, crease these, but he kind of did. He kind of tri-folded it in my mailbox, and it did leave a crease, obviously, in the paper. I don't know if you can see it. But um, it usually doesn't ruin your transfer, but you do want to make sure you um, press out those wrinkle that you might might have in it. But, okay. So remember, we're going to kind of do a hanky theme. Uh, eventually, with this whole series, it just... the the design and the font and the floor all remind me of hankies. So um, eventually I'll probably be incorporating this in with another piece because I don't really have room for it on here. But I'm gonna do some patriotics in the red, white, and blues, obviously, and then bring in uh, a hanky theme. So I need to go get some hankies. I'm hoping uh, Walmart has them because I don't know if I have any around. I probably did before I moved here, but a lot of that stuff got de-junked <laughs> before I, when I moved, when I didn't know I was going to be a crafter and wanting a hanky, so that's how it goes. Let's open up our pace. This is the Cadet, I believe it's a current color. There we go, sorry about that. That was just my phone. Okay, we are back. That's a bandana. Yeah, bandanas. In the mid or where I grew up, we called them hankies, handkerchiefs. But yeah, bandana, same difference. I guess because my dad had them on the farm, you know, in his back pocket all the time. But yeah. Handkerchief, bandana, it's all good. Always had to uh, get dad's handkerchief, hanky, out of it. We would, we raised hogs. I don't know if you've seen... Pictures when I had pictures of me showing pigs at 4-H, but um, when we had to go clean the hog pens, you know, your nose was always running, and if you didn't take anything out with you, then you had to go and get Dad's hanky. I'm sure he was thrilled to share it. <laughs> but. It made, the dust made your nose run, that's for sure. Alright, so we're going to do them blues, black, hanky, bandana look. I'm just going to add that arrow. And, uh, I haven't gotten the new patriotic transfer, I can't even think what it's called. But I want to grab, I have. I need to order that. I think it's going to be coming back. I think it's out of stock, but it's going to come back. Where, where is my catalog? Mm. I don't know where I put it. Anyway, I need to get that. But I have some older patriotic uh, transfers I can use, too, to make a series of Good old USA decor. All right, so we got the cadet, we got ocean mist, we got black, and I got my navy that I use that I make with uh, the blue and black. So we want it to be a nice soft yogurt consistency with our paste. It's a little thick. As you see, I sprinted, spritzed in some water. It is best to use distilled water. Okay. Let's grab some squeegees and figure out what colors we want where. 
Um, I think I definitely want this one black so it shows up really well. So maybe we'll do these in, um, I probably want these in the blue. Maybe this in the lighter blue. I could do these in the navy then. So, light blue. We're going to do these in light blue. These lines here. We'll probably do paste and peel as we go down. So I'm going to paste uh, one color of an area and then um, peel it back so that the chalk paste doesn't have time to dry in our silk screen. If it dries in the silk screen, then it sticks in the silk screen and not on your surface. And that's not what we want, so we're going to just lift it up so the paste goes through onto the surface. Just like this. release it and just lay it back down okay and then we're going to go on to navy just loading up my little squeegee and just run it across fill in all the silk screen areas And then again, skim it down. Remove the extra paste so you have a nice smooth print. And we're not just wasting that paste down the drain. Put it back in your jar so you can reuse it later. Again, I'm going to lift. Okay, you see it's coming along really pretty. Just lay it back down. And let's do this area. We're going to do that in the brighter blue. This is kind of the monochromatic. I'm not doing just shades of blue all the way down to, to black. Okay. Peel it back. Right there. Black with this one. Somehow I managed to get paste all over my fingers. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. To the cadet. It's always fun with uh, the club to see what transfer they're going to send. Last month it was that vintage typewriter. That was a lot of fun to play with. Okay, back. 
back to the navy. And I've got these fun little dillies right here that might be kind of fun to do in, I might, might do those in black, just for kicks and giggles. everyone had a wonderful weekend if you're a mother and you were celebrated awesome happy Mother's Day or you had a chance to celebrate your mother and let's quick do these little in florals in black And remember, I'm not going to do the bottom line just yet. I'm going to move it down because I'm going to put that arrow in there. So we can pick this all up right now. Grab a hold of it here. There. I'm just going to set that right there. I'm going to let this dry really well. And then we'll put that um, last border down there. Because this is going to go here, this arrow. And then we'll put this line back down here. So we just need to dry this really good. We don't want to lay the transfer on the wet paste. So this is uh, our blue bandana themed sign that we're going to do. Because I'm going to do, if you're just joining, I'm doing this all, um, I just kind of like think it looks like a bandana print. Reminds me of bandanas or handkerchiefs the farmers wore or the cowboys. And uh, so I'm going to incorporate this into some patriotic themed signs later this month and, and into June. And, but I'm doing this one in the blue hanky theme, and then I'll incorporate some other hanky designs in uh, future pieces. So I'm just drying this. So it's dry before I put on the last piece. Because I'm going to do the same line that's here. But I wanted to move it down a little bit because I want to put my arrow right underneath the word all. So actually I can just do it upside down and just use that strip right in there. I think we'll have plenty of room. it's in the middle again and level I think I can still get this in there perfectly yep okay so I'm gonna press that down bring in that um, ocean mist color just like I did on the top I was really tempted to drive over to Creston to see my mom, but we I was just with my kids the day before, and you know they work in the healthcare profession, and I just didn't want to take any chances of if they have the virus to spread it to my mom and dad. So I didn't go. We didn't go over there. All right. Let's clean up my hands. I'm going to antique all this before I. Oh, it's a brand new one. My goodness. Before.
before I, oh my gosh, obviously I didn't find the middle. Before I glue on the arrow, I'm going to antique the surface. Just registered for chalk on. Oh yeah, I'm going to. We're going to go down there for a week, my husband and I. So, assuming everything's okay to travel, we'll see. Um, yeah, so it's going to be fun. I can't wait to meet everybody. Just getting the chalk paste off my fingers. Oh, I got one more week till I get a, a real haircut. I did trim my hair up once, but um, it's starting to need it again. And I'm going to try to just wait for the pro to do it next week. I think on Monday. So, yeah. I'm sure everyone's dealing with hair issues. I, at least I don't have to uh, color my hair. So I didn't have that worry of having gray roots or anything, but. I'm sitting here trying to think if I have anything, if I have any bandanas here at home. But I could stage this for a photo. I like to take photos of my projects. And um, even if I had like a stuffed cow or a, um, a stuffed horse. I have lots of beanie baby animals. But I thought they'd be cute if I could put a bigger one, a bigger animal and put a bandana around it. And take a photo. thought that would be cute. Okay, so let's antique, sand, distress, all of this before I glue on my arrow. I'm just going to put my paste away. It's There's no sense of it sitting here drying up, so put all my squeegees in the water and get this out of the way. I don't want any um, sawdust going in it or wood dust going into it after we start sanding. So, where do you live, Lori? Do you have to fly to Florida? Anyone else good to going to convention? Chalk Tours annual convention is in July in, uh, in the Orlando area. And that's what we're talking about. It's a lot of fun. Let's, let's uh, sand a little bit on the edges. Let's cut some sandpaper. It's going to make it a little bit more worn looking. Like 
wear some areas down on your actual where you chopped just to make it a little bit more warm. Just kind of pick some random areas. Kind of makes it more, more interesting. to do this than to chop. But that's what makes it more unique. Even um, sometimes I'll take a very, very, very damp paper towel and kind of just swipe it over just to pick up any dust. Just light, 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 light mist on this paper towel. And just pick up the dust with it. You can see it's kind of a blue dust because of the chalk paste there. That just kind of brings back true colors. Cleaning up all the sawdust. Pick it up off my desk too. We have kind of some worn areas, not too heavy. I could even do a little bit more if you really wanted to make it more worn. But um, let me look at it, analyze it here a minute. I might do a little bit more. bit you could use old playing cards. Oh yeah, that would be cute. I think I have some playing cards that have this look. You're right. Good idea. I think they, they just had some cards out this weekend when they were over here. And I think they were this look, you know, the bandana look. distressed ink and then we'll just wax with uh, probably the stained wax. This is um, distressed ink by Tim Holtz and you can get these are also his I believe you can get those the same time you buy that at craft stores or through Amazon. Um, I do have it in red I have it in blue somewhere. Blue and brown, I might do a little bit of both. And then let's see what it looks like. It's kind of heavy. Okay. 
And this really gives it more character of being an old sign when you distress it with this ink. forget to do the sides because you don't want them to be bright white on an old looking sign. So I'm going to dirty those up also. sand those down too right here. But it's all good. So put a little blue and the brown both in. You can barely see what I'm doing here in the middle, but just enough to tone it down, make it a little bit more dirty. Okay. That's pretty good. Anything else? Sometimes I try to get these a little bit clean before I put them away or before I use them. But okay. Especially if I use a different color. Okay, so I've got it antiqued a little bit. Starting to show a little bit of character. Now I'm going to um, apply that wax. I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue on the arrow just to, that way it, um, you know, sets it quickly, but the E6000 is what's really going to make it stick really well. But first, uh, let's wax, because I don't want to have to wax around the arrow. And you don't even have to wax. Again, it's going to age it a little bit more. And it just kind of makes it more smooth and seals in the wax paste. And it doesn't take much. I gotta get a new rag. I keep forgetting to look for something that will work. So just rub it in a little bit. It also kind of collects, uh, let's see if I had an extra bit. It kind of collects in the grooves a little bit. The grooves of the chalk base and the grooves of the palettes, boards, which again ages it even more. So I like that. Also, the wax brings out the color. It kind of intensifies the color. Even if you used a plain wax, not not stained wax, uh, just the wax uh, just brings out the color a little bit more, intensifies it. I like that too. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Kind of like you wax on, wax off. So just keep rubbing it. Okay. It's kind of feels 
good after you put the wax on. Twine would be cute on this too, but I don't know if I would want to do the twine. I like the arrow setting right there. I don't think it needs twine. Not everything needs to be embellished really crazy. It's going to take a while for the heat gun to heat up. I just want to, I should have had it on. They're just going to do like two dabs of it. And the rest I'll do in the E6000. And that way it'll set it quickly. Right in there. Hi, Vicki. This was this month's Club Couture transfer. Love Conquers All. I'm going to go with, I know you're, some of you are just joining. I'm going to go with a um, bandana patriotic theme for 4th of July, and this was my first piece, but I did it in the blues, like a blue bandana or hanky, I uh, would have, and then other pieces, um, uh, I'm, I have one piece of red bandana scrapbook paper, so some, something I will do in the future is going to bring in the red bandana look, but I just thought the, um, the lettering and the design of it just reminded me of a bandana's. So, that's what I'm going to do, I think. On the rest of the Patriarchs, we'll do, uh, kind of bring in some bandana. I might even try to go find some bandanas and maybe even um, use the fabric somehow on something. I don't know. I just started thinking of this this morning, so we'll see how it goes. So, I'm just waiting on the heat gun to heat up so I can... Plop in a couple dots of hot glue, and um, the E6000. We're gonna glue this metal arrow I have. I've had I have um, gotten these years ago at my store. It actually had a little loop on the end of it. Well, I used them in some of my retreat kits, um, and they were in, on a garland. And so I just keep using them up off of that. That's where I got them from. I don't think you can even buy them anymore. That and the metal feathers both. Okay, so let's get some of this on it. And we've got some hot glue. I don't even need it, as long as I don't set it up for a while. Okay. Super cute. It's kind of cool with all the fragrant glue stuff. Love conquers all. Club Couture. You can't get it unless um, you are already a member. Um, but you can join Club Couture and get next month's transfer, which we don't know what it is yet. That's the fun thing about joining the club. And then you have to figure out how you can get creative. But think how you could take the elements. Um, I saw where a designer put on little mini tags an L and O on each separate tag and hung them out on a little board. So that was love. Um, you could definitely use this element in other designs, this or even these. And take obviously take the letters and do other things with them. So it's always fun to mix and match our transfers into other projects. This was Love Conquers All. Kind of like how that turned out. And that's all the project I'm going to do today. I'm going to start working on um, my uh, art contest for a convention this week. So 
Uh, thanks for joining me today, and I hope you have a wonderful Monday. Great week. I'll probably hop on tomorrow. I've got to watch my grandkids. So uh, if Vivi wants, to, if we get into chalking with Vivi, I, I'll probably pop on live with her. It's been a while since we've chalked. She's almost six. Her birthday's May 25th, so maybe we'll have to make a birthday uh, board or something for her. That would be fun. I, I have a cake and some candles. That might be a fun project we can do with her tomorrow. So we'll see if we can get that done without Hank bothering us too much. He's three. So um, either when he's napping or um, if he's just playing, he's not really paying too much attention to us. Maybe we can get that done. So thanks for joining me today and I will talk with you later. Bye-bye.